It's time for another episode of What I Wore This Week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content. So if that's what you love, you're in the right place. Be sure to subscribe and hit those notification bells. I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss anything. This week I have five really great outfits for you guys. And of course I will have all the items that are still available linked in the description box. And whatever is not available, I will link to something similar. If you wanna create these outfits exactly, be sure to check the description box. But if you just wanna use these outfits as inspiration, then of course just check your closet and see what you already have and see how you can recreate these looks. So let's jump right into the first one. I love this look. This is definitely elevated casual. I would wear this into the office if you worked in a casual work environment. But if you didn't work in a casual work environment you can just swap out the jeans for like a pair of slacks or just something more appropriate maybe just jeans that don't have any distressing but i love this look the blazer that i'm wearing is veronica beard i love this blazer because of how tailored it is it looks really good it really carves out that silhouette one of my favorites it has the elbow patches it has a little bit of the suede around the collar all around a really great blazer that really takes the look up a notch and then underneath i'm wearing one of my favorite like layering pieces from express these fit really really good they're sleeveless they're cropped but they're a little bit of a longer crop they look really good they're very flattering and i just love the way they look under blazers because they're nice and fitted to the body so they just look really flattering with a blazer layered over top and then the jeans that i'm wearing are from abercrombie i wear these so much if you watch my channel then you know all about these jeans and for my shoes i went with my veronica beard booties i love these so much because they work with so many pieces that I already have. They fit really good with this outfit. This is such a good look. I love how comfortable this is. So easy to wear, but it looks really good put together. And that's what's important. This is like a no brainer kind of an outfit, but it looks really sharp. And then of course, a pair of oversized shades because that's my thing. And then I threw on my Chloe Tess. Very complimentary. I feel like this outfit is giving kind of a 70s kind of a vibe. And so my accessories really, really work here. I love this look. Very good. Definitely giving the fall vibes. Very elevated, but still comfortable, and I can wear this really anywhere. Here's the next look that I have for you guys. Definitely work appropriate. You can do this for like a Friday at the office. It's an elevated casual look that looks really polished and put together. The sweater that I'm wearing is from H&M. I love these stripes. I love the collar of this sweater. Really comfortable, looks really, really good and has those like um, vented sides at the bottom, those side slits that look really cute. And then I love these jeans from Everlane. Pairs really nicely with this entire look. Very flattering and it fits really well in the waist. These are a really great pair of white jeans. If you're looking for some, try these out. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing my Gucci loafers. These are the mules. I love how comfortable these are, but still very put together. It's like you're wearing slippers, but it looks really, really thoughtful. So these are great. I always talk about these. I have them in a few different colors. They're really great. And I love the way this outfit came together because it looks really comfortable and chic, just like easy. And then I threw on my black Saint Laurent bag, a pair of oversized shades, and I am good to go. Here's the next look that I wanna show you guys, and this is definitely a casual, but really good look. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from H&M. It has New York written across the front. Um, you can do any kind of a graphic sweatshirt, really, or it could be plain if you don't wanna have any graphics on it. This is a really easy, chill vibe, and then I'm wearing it with a pair of jeans that are super affordable. I'll have them linked in the description box if they're still available, because I have been sharing them over on Instagram quite a bit. Um, I did actually a reel with these and you guys have loved these jeans so much. So check the description box. I hope they're still available. They're really, really a great price. And then I brought back my Gucci mules and my Saint Laurent bag for this look. Now this Saint Laurent puffer bag is not going anywhere anytime soon. I still get questions from you guys about the hardware, about the wear and tear on the bag. I love this bag. I got this bag pretty much when it first came out and I love Saint Laurent lambskin. This bag is lambskin and I have not had any issues. And that was like a big hesitation for me when I first got this bag. I was just really concerned and worried about it scratching easy and not wearing well, but I love this bag. I've had it for some years now and it has really stood the test of time. Really good bag. If you're interested, definitely check it out because this puffer trend is really, I don't even think it's a trend anymore. I just think it's a thing. Like it's not going anywhere. So if you're interested, I would highly recommend this bag and it comes in different sizes now. When I first got this bag, it really only was in this size. As far as I know, I can't really remember because I've had it for a while now, but they have other sizes. So it's some really great options out there if you're interested. 
Next up, I love this look because I'm obsessed with this trench coat. I got this from Free People. I really love this trench coat. I think it's just so fabulous. It's really maxi and it fits good. I love that the hardware on it is silver because you know I've been incorporating more of that and I just love the way it looks. Very flattering, really classic, but it has some interesting twists. And then underneath, I'm wearing my Veronica Beard cardigan. I love this cardigan. It's cashmere. I love the color. It's rich and caramelly, it's cozy, it feels good. It has an oversized collar, which is really beautiful. And I just love the buttons, a very flattering ribbed style. I love this. And I wear my cardigans just like shirts. So this is a really nice cozy top. And then for my jeans, I'm wearing my cheeky straight jeans from The Gap, which is another pair of jeans that I often speak about because they fit so well. They fit well in the waist. And then I threw on another pair of my Gucci loafers that I love so much. The colors here are all brown, cognac, really yummy shades of that rich brown shade. And I really like that. And this is just an easy look, very comfortable, but still put together. This is something you could definitely wear into work if you're looking for like Friday casual, elevated casual outfits. But of course, for the weekend, you can wear these out to lunches. If you have your meetings working from home, this is a good outfit because then you can just grab your, your trench and your bag and you're good to go run out the door. So I love that about this. And then of course, for my handbag, I went with my Loewe puzzle. Definitely complimented the entire look. Pair of shades and I'm out the door. Now here is the last look that I have for you guys. And I'm loving this all black look. I've been loving all black just in general. And so the faux leather blazer I'm wearing over my shoulders is from Express. This is an older item, so I'll link to something similar. Underneath, I'm wearing a rib knit top from H&M. I really love turtlenecks. I just love them. I just find that they're so flattering. I just feel like they really just like showcase your face. It just like all your features are, are highlighted with a black turtleneck. I just think it looks really great. And then I'm wearing a pair of shorts. These are my trouser shorts from Trina Turk. I have worn these so much since I've gotten them. I've worn them so much and I've shared them so much on my channel. So I'll link to something similar. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my Paris, Texas boots. What I love about these is that they're kind of like a sock boot that goes up to your knee. Really comfortable. I love how like sharp and sleek these are. They're very flattering. They're comfortable. They're so good. I love these. And then for my bag, I'm wearing my Fendi bag as a crossbody here. It looks really good, like a piece of jewelry, almost like how a necklace would be draped across the body. Just beautiful. I really love the way this outfit came together. Comfortable. And this for the daytime, I'm wearing a pair of shades here. But you, of course, you can wear this into the evening. You can wear it to dinner, evening out, maybe throw on a red lip. That would be really cute as well. So that is it, you guys. Let me know in the comments which look is your favorite, which outfit you're gonna be recreating. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. If you wanna check me out on some of my other socials like Instagram and Pinterest, I'll have that information in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you, and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I share with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer, and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audiobook is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking, but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Oh.